Woman? That would be cold even for you, Lara. Then again, I know why you haven't pulled that trigger. Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! her way. Kill her and bring me that goddamned Atlas. <sighs> Croft continues to create difficulties for us. She's rallied the Valley people from their squalid huts and helped lead them to a series of victories. I wish I could make her understand just how wrong she is. How misguided her ideas of morality are. The world is too flawed for stopgaps. A lone hero cannot rescue it. The idea of revealing the divine source to the world would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous. Did I think she could be turned to Trinity's side before? Yes. But not anymore. We were close, she and I. There is a bond there, but... I think now, there is no other choice. She must be broken. And I know she can be broken. I've broken stronger than her. That's it. It has to be. I'm ahead of Anna now, but I don't know what I've gotten myself into here. Something else dwells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. I've come too far. Anna thinks she knows me. And maybe she does on some level, but she doesn't know everything. And as long as she continues to underestimate me, 
I might still have the upper hand. An old mural. And those vessels. Greek fire. The Prophet's deathless army, armed with Greek fire. They were unstoppable. <coughs> that smell. Oh no. Burned alive. Oh, God! Let me... Please, please let me go. Let me go. No, not like this. I, I can't. Not like this. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Quick. Make it... Make it stop. Who could have done this? What the hell is that? The church in the West has sent their messengers. Self-proclaimed soldiers of God, the Knights of the Order of Trinity. They have come to silence the Prophet, to quell his blasphemy and eradicate our movement. But it is too late now. We will not be silenced. Violence erupts in the Forum on a daily basis. The Prophet knows that we cannot stand against them, so we must leave Constantinople. We will go to the desert to build anew, and continue the Prophet's work. When the Emperor died, the Prophet's favor was lost and we were forced to begin our exodus in the dark of night. The new emperor has no love for the prophet, so there was nothing left to stop the knights of the Order of Trinity. We fled towards the desert to begin again, when the Order of Trinity came upon us and murdered the prophet. I saw him die. We placed his body in a cave near the oasis, and in our sorrow, began to build him a tomb. The Order of Trinity is not finished. They desire not only the death of the Prophet, but the mysteries of the Divine Source. They will come again. But in our darkest hour, the Prophet has risen. He has defeated death, just as he will defeat our enemies. Roger 
Undermine screw. Set the charge. Light it. Go. This whole place could go up. Got to hurry. We're here! I fucking got it! I think I see my exit. The statue's unstable. Looks like I'll have to use a big fire. Just 
got to take out the remaining supports. More Greek fire vessels. So many of them. They must have been put into storage here, but these containers are broken. Greek fire vessels. So many of them. soldier's flag to be hung from a spear. This must have belonged to the Prophet's army.
Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the Prophet's path, and twice before they have vanished. He carried the Divine Source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place. To retrieve the Divine Source, I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. Oh, now I see. It speaks of something hidden. Must have been where they prepared the raw ingredients for Greek fire. standard of the Prophet's army. This would have been mounted above a flag and carried by a standard bearer.
When the Knights of the Order of Trinity learned of the Prophet's rebirth, they attacked again. But we were armed with true faith. Where they expected a slaughter of helpless refugees, they found an army of men and women who would no longer be victims. Many died there, but in the end, we stood victorious. We fled, leaving his tomb and the Empire behind. We walked for months, across the high plains, and into the frozen lands beyond the borders of the Empire. The path was difficult, and many began to doubt the Prophet. I am ashamed to say I did as well. I hope he can forgive me, for with the break of dawn, we now see the truth. He has brought us to an earthly paradise, where we can begin anew. God bless the Prophet, for he has delivered us. And delicate work, mixing so many volatile components. I made it. I'm out. Lara. Thank God you're all right. Bring the Atlas to me in our observatory in the mountains. I'm on my way.
This commemorates the construction of a great city. Kitesh. Jonah, is that you? <laughs> Little bird! You're alive! I, I knew it! My god! Jonah, what are you doing here? Where are you? I'm up here in some kind of fortress. You can thank Jacob. His people picked me up half dead out on the tundra. I can't believe you came after me. <laughs> is that so hard to believe? I told you I got your back. I couldn't leave you out here alone. I'm on my way up to you now. Don't go anywhere. I hadn't planned on it. Be careful out there. <sighs> Lara, glad to see you're still with us. The invaders are spread all over the valley, but we're pushing back where we can. If you can lend a hand, you're always welcome. We know we can trust you. We are no match for Trinity. They are the ones that drove our forefathers out of the Empire, and now they have come to finish the job. We are a broken remnant of a once holy people. Only our cause remains. I do not believe in my heart that we can defeat them, but I know that we can die trying, and that God and the Prophet could ask no more. Someone else was attacking Trinity in the darkness beneath the cathedral. Could it be the Deathless One Sophia spoke of? And if so, what part do they have to play in all of this? I have so many questions. But for now, I'm just relieved. Jonah's alive. I should have known he'd come looking for me. And thank God Jacob's people found him before he ran afoul of Trinity. I never wanted him to follow me into danger, but I have to admit, I'm happy he's here now.
The hilt of an ancient dagger. Blade's gone, but it's a femur of some sort. Almost certainly human. Perhaps it's some sort of ritual object. Jonah! <laughs> you look terrible. Terrible, but happy. I was right, Jonah. Dad was right. The divine source is real. I wish he was here to see this. He'd be proud of you. Sophia told me what you've done for her people. Lara, it's good to see you, Sophia. Jacob is waiting for you in the observatory. were skilled craftsmen. They use this place to view the Atlas. <sighs> Jonah, try those chains. Got it. this to plan the construction of the city. Like ancient blueprints. Exactly. Everything radiates out from this point. That puts the center of the city under the lake. But, hmm, something's not right. The cathedral, where the Atlas was, it's on the wrong side of the map. Keep rotating it. under the lake. It's under the glacier. The divine source must be there. How the hell are we gonna get through all that ice? Wait. This path here leads into the city. The cathedral is there. And the tower on the other side. That means the entrance to Katesh must be... The entrance to Katesh is here. You knew. Trinity discovers the location of the source. But I have to go after Jonah. Even if it means giving up the truth you came here to find. 
He risked his life to come here with me. I almost lost him once. Not again. Then go. Do what you must. Thank you.